This is Michael Coffey for Bespoke Global. The first time that I learned that my work was being sold on the second market was at Sotheby's. Uh, this is a piece, this was that rocking lounge chair, which I had sold in 1979 for $10,000. And ultimately it sold for $48,000. So that's where suddenly that changed the ball game. I do like using furniture as a medium. I'm not getting tired of it. You sit in a chair every day for years and you get a certain relationship with that chair. You look forward to sitting down in it at the end of the day or you like the way it feels against your back and you develop a relationship like an old friend. That's another dimension that you don't have with art. When you go to a museum, you're not supposed to touch anything, right? <laughs> Furniture you can touch. I'm conscious also of providing that experience when, when I develop the form because they're big rounded surfaces and they're hollows. You can have asymmetry and still have beauty. It's not as quiet looking, but that's the whole point. It creates a question. So one of the easiest rules to break is symmetry. And uh, so I broke it. <laughs> Well, I started in probably part-time 67. So what does that make it? 43 years. When I began to look inside myself and say, well, you know, how would I change things? How, how can I change form, the form of furniture so that it's different from what's being done? And also so that it expresses something that other furniture does not. Flowing lines, beauty, interconnectedness. How can I achieve some of these things and, and be different and be a rebel? and an iconoclast. I think I'm good at, at working with commissions and I enjoy it. Talking with people, listening, finding out what they want. Where they say, I want a table, I want a coffee table, I've seen your work, I like it. And, and I say, great, you know, this is an opportunity to create something for somebody. And if they want something exactly the way it was done before, that's okay. But my first choice, first preference would be to, to start off new with a blank page. The more challenging the better. I make a model basically in order to help visualize the piece and then from the model I make a working drawing, the dimensions of the piece and th that's the final step before going into the shop so I know exactly what I'm going to do. I don't go into the shop with any with any, any unanswered questions. I've gotten everything worked out. This is Eptide 5. It's all opened up with the chainsaw initially. And then, and then when it gets opened up, then I can see it better. Then I can refine it. After the chainsaw with a rough surface, there's other cutters. They're metal working discs. And then successively finer discs. The trick is knowing which tool to use for what purpose. That's where the time goes. About 150 hours. I don't commute. I commute a few steps into the shop so I don't waste too much time and don't make much distinction between my work and, and the rest of my life. But it's a constant process of problem solving. I love problem solving. I love nothing better than a challenging problem. 